and I am the founder of Pivotal. And about this time last year, my wife came to me and she said, you know what, for Christmas, I would like to give our parents some photo books of the kids. This is kind of common. You see this around all the time. Lots of programs can make them. So we started that process. And as we sat down to go through it, we lasted about five minutes before we quit because our pictures were everywhere. We both had laptops. We both had cell phones. They were in iCloud. They were in Dropbox. It was a scattered mess. And that was just that year. When we looked at the entirety of our photo collection, 13,000 pictures taken over 12 years together, it was an unorganized mess. So I took this problem with me to the startup weekend competition just two months ago. And out of that weekend, out of that 54 hours, we birthed an idea. And the idea was pivotal, that we could take the best of business intelligence, the types of things we're doing in big data, and apply them to your personal photo collection. So we aggregate your photos from all the different locations, from your phone, from social networks, from your PCs. We get in, we do, do, deduplicate them, we analyze the photos, the metadata around them, we back them up, and then we organize them for you and let you explore them in a unique way. Now, as we've shown this to more and more people, we realize that it's hard to visualize something you've never seen before. So I want to show you what we feel like is a better way to explore your photos. You know, we're looking here, we're looking at a mosaic of photos, and I want to say, you know what, show me pictures of just my son. So instantly it sweeps everything away and focuses on him. Now let me drill down and just see him on his birthday. And again, we drill through this and show that to you. No more folders, no more events. It's the pictures you want to see. Now I'm going to say, you know what, let's pivot this and see everyone and how many pictures we've taken of each person. Or let's say maybe we want to do it by location. Where are all these? That big spike right there are pictures we've taken at home. So it's a unique new way to explore your pictures. Now we've done over a hundred face-to-face interviews with people, customers who tell us about the pain and the process they go through when trying to manage their photos. We've done over 500 customer surveys. And we've learned a lot and it blew away our assumptions. We assumed people were using something like iPhoto or Picasa. But this is the state of the art and organization of photos. And a lot of you are shaking your head because that's exactly how you do it. In fact, 94% of us organize our photos this way. You know, when we talk to people more and more, they tell us things. They tell us we use Shutterfly or we use Cafe Press because we like to take these pictures and do something with them. We want to create the photo book like me and my wife tried to make. We want to create the calendar. So we need to reach out and touch those services so we bake that right into our business model. We found that mom, 25 to 50, was our most important demographic. Dad may be the one who takes the pictures, but mom is the one who cares about organizing those pictures. And when we talk to moms over and over, they tell us that digital services are cold. They don't feel you know, connected to the service. It's a real churn rate issue, a real retention problem for those moms. So we've identified that if we give them something tangible as part of the service, the retention rate radically increases. So mom's going to be able to pick four or five photos every month and we'll mail those photos to her. Or she can say, you know what, this month send them to my mom and dad. So they have physical things in their hand they can touch. It makes a big difference. But this is about monetizing that entire strategy around organization and management. So we have two core channels, monthly subscriptions, which we have on multiple tiers, and revenue from our merchandising partners. When you use our service to create a calendar, we get a royalty from that company. Our freemium conversion rate, we expect at around 8%. And we're not pulling this out of thin air. This is based on hard data from our competitors who released their information. We're working into a $1.7 billion photo organization and management market as of 2012 that's growing at 35% year over year. But we feel great about our position in this market, not because we believe we can outmaneuver or outmarket or outfeature the competition, but because our approach is a generational leap ahead. This is common. It's when and where. Let me show you. You took some pictures. Here's where you took them. Here's when. It's very two-dimensional. We believe in context and understanding why you took the photo. Why in the world did you take a photo in the middle of a parking lot on September 21st? Well, with our system, we understand why. We understand you were actually tailgating at a U of L game. And once we understand why you did something, we can bring in contextualized details that enhance the user experience to say, not only did you take a picture here, but you were at a U of L game. And here's the date, and here's where you were, and here's the score, and here's the temperature. We can create a story around the simple bits of metadata. We're pivotal. 
and we're changing the way people organize and explore their photos.